friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a baby card using some images from Lawn Fawn. I'm stamping out from Wild For You, Elfie, Selfie, and Hello Baby. And I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. I've got a piece of pattern paper that I'm setting off to the side so that I can color my images to match. I'm going to work on my Mama Elephant first, and for her I'm using W00, W1, and W3. I really like using warm grays for critters. I just think it makes them look a little bit more alive. So I'm using that W3 to lay in some shadows. So any place that a part of her body is going to cover another part, it would be cast in shadow. I'm also doing a little bit on the curve of her trunk to help accentuate that. And then I'll come in with the W1 and begin to pull out that color. So I'm just catching the edge of the W3 and pulling it towards the center of the image and just softening up that line so I get a nice smooth blend. Once I have that all pulled out, I'm going to come in with my lightest shade, the W00, and I'll fill the rest of her in. And you'll notice that I kept my shadows to a minimal on this image. Um, normally I like to color with a lot of contrast, and certainly there is contrast since I use three shades of markers, but I am predominantly using that W00 as the main shade, and so it's just going to give a softer look, which I think is appropriate for a baby card. So now I'm coming in for the little baby, and since this is a shorter video, I decided to just leave it in. Um, but you can just see that the shadows are going to be in basically the same places, just at a little bit of a variation because she's on a side angle instead of coming straight on like the mama elephant. So again, for her, I just did the same exact steps. I just was a little bit more sparing with that W3. I like the baby images to be just a little bit softer in color even than the mother, so I made sure that she was really pale. And then once I have both of these guys colored in, I'm going to come back in and do a little dot detail just to give them a little bit extra texture and personality. It just gives their skin that kind of dry, scaly appearance that elephants have. Um, so I mostly just stick to the shadowed areas to accentuate that and then let it fade off into the lighter areas so that it doesn't get overwhelming. It's just an accent not covering the entire image. And I even knocked that back a little with the W00. So now I'm going back to my pattern paper and using that with my Copic color chart to choose my next colors. And I decided to go with R20, R21, and R22. So I'm going to start with the R22 on the left and right sections of the umbrella. So I'm accentuating the top crease there and uh, also adding a little bit of shadow to the rattle on the right hand side. I'm going to blend that out with the R21, just pulling that down towards the bottom of the umbrella and towards the left of the rattle, since it will be on its side in the final uh, card. And then I'm going to finish with the R20 as my lightest shade. And I'm also going to use the R20 to give a little bit of color to the inside of the elephant's ears and do a little rosy cheek as well. Once again, I'm going to grab that W00 and go over the pink that I've just done to knock that color back a little bit on the elephants and just help it blend in with the rest of their skin tone. The final combination that I'm using is G quadruple zero, G zero zero, and G zero two. Starting with the G zero two on the center of the umbrella and to finish off the rattle. And then I'll pull that out with the G zero zero and finish with the G quadruple zero, which will give me a nice mint green. And then I will trim these images out with the matching dies. For my focal panel, I've got a circle die cut using the Lawn Fawn Stitch Circle Stackables, and I'm going to use a cloud stencil to sponge on some pumice stone distress ink. And I chose pumice stone because it is one of the lighter grays, and I wanted to create just a very subtle background. I didn't want anything to be 
uh, too stark and kind of look stormy or angry or anything like that. This is a baby shower card. So I just wanted it to be just soft and gentle, kind of reflecting on the images that I've colored. So I'm just going to continue filling that panel until I've gone almost all the way down. And then I'm going to grab a hill stencil and sponge on some more Distress Ink to create some grass. And for that, I'm going to use Cracked Pistachio Distress Ink. Once I'm finished, I'm going to pop that into my Misty and I'm going to stamp a sentiment using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And it reads, Hello Sweet Girl, and that is from the Hello Baby stamp set. So I'm stamping that down a couple of times to get a really good, dark, bold impression. Then I'll pop my card base into my Misty and I'm going to stamp on the inside of my card. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Bubblegum Ink and I'm stamping the little elephant from Wild For You along with a butterfly from that set. And then the sentiment says, sending a big congratulations and that is from Elfie Selfie. So going back to my focal panel, I'm going to start adhering my images, beginning with the mom elephant first. I'm going to add her over on the left hand side of the card using some liquid glue. And I like to use liquid glue because I can uh, adjust as needed for a few seconds until that glue dries permanent. I'm going to give her the umbrella to hold so that she can be protecting her baby from the elements. So I'm just going to tip that a little bit to the right and make it look as if she's holding on to it by tucking it under her trunk. Then I can add the baby elephant right underneath. And then I'll grab the little rattle image and I'm going to lay that on its side down near the baby just so it adds a nice pop of color and pulls those color downward toward the bottom of the panel. I'm going to take a few raindrop images from the Hello Baby stamp set and stamp those using Lawn Fawn's Manatee ink. So I've got a couple little drops that are bouncing off the umbrella and then another raindrop that I'm just going to keep moving around until I've stamped it three times. I'm going to take that focal panel and adhere it down to a fancy scalloped circle stackable that I die cut out of plain white cardstock. So it'll add almost like an eyelet detail around the image that'll really soften it up and give it that feminine feel. For my pattern papers today, I'm using selections from the Echo Park Sweet Baby Girl collection. Starting with this floral print, I'm going to adhere that to cover the card, and that was trimmed out with the Lawn Fawn Stitch Rectangle Stackables, so it has that nice stitching detail along the outside edge to give it some more interest. Then I've got a really pretty soft tone-on-tone -tone pink polka dot that's going to go in the center of the card, and then I've also got that plaid strip that I used at the beginning to choose my colors with, and that I trimmed out at the bottom using a Lawn Fawn Stitch Party Banner die. So once I've got all of those adhered, I'll grab my focal panel. I've added some Scotch 3M foam tape to the back of that, so I'll peel off the release papers and then line that up in the center of my card and press that down into place once I have it nice and straight. As a finishing touch, I'm going to grab a white Sakura Jelly Roll pen and do a little dot detail on the umbrella and the rattle, just doing some polka dots that'll soften that up and also tie into the polka dot pattern paper and the dot detail that I did on both of the elephants. So once I finish that, it's going to complete today's card. I'll hold that up to the camera so you can see that nice and close and also give you another peek at the inside. And that is going to complete our card for today. This card will be going to my coworker who's about to become a grandma for the first time, so I hope she really likes it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also ring that notification bell if you want to be sure that my videos always end up in your feed. If you'd like to keep on watching, here's two videos I thought you might also be interested in, so you can check those out. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.